Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please take time to click the bell icon just below for notifications. Here we go. Today on the menu, we're gonna do a really famous dish actually. We're gonna do a chicken cashew stir fry. Chinese styled, I'm serving this with a bit of rice. It's very easy and tastes absolutely wonderful. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients we'll be using today. So here I've got some chicken, chicken breast. No skin and no bone, cut really nice and thin. Onion, one small onion. Bell peppers, I'm using those two colors. Use whatever color you want. Cashews, these are raw, we're gonna fry them off. A Little bit of celery. Ginger, fresh ginger and fresh garlic. Here I've got some sugar, I'm using a light brown sugar, but you could be using a, a, a white or a dark if you wanted. Some cornstarch or corn flour, sesame oil, soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a bit of black pepper, and a little bit of stock. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so here you go. I've got a mixing bowl here. I've got my chicken in there. We're gonna add the soy sauce. I'm using a dark soy. You could be using light if you wanted. Maybe two or three tablespoons there. And then sesame oil, about the same again. We're gonna get in there some black pepper, a generous amount. And then some corn flour or corn starch. So that sort of amount. Simply, we're gonna give this a mix. And then we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get over to the cooker. Okay, so here what I've got is 200 milliliters of chicken stock. We're gonna to add to that a little bit more dark soy, and we're gonna add in some sugar. If you wanted some, you could put some uh, rice wine in this as well. Set that aside. Let's go and sort these cashew nuts out. Okay, so I've got a little pan here, a touch of oil. Again, I'm using sesame oil. You could be using something else. We're gonna drop in our cashews and we're just gonna fry them around just for a couple of minutes. These are a raw cashew, so I just need to cook them on a medium heat, a couple of minutes, keep them moving. Okay, off goes the heat. Just a couple of minutes here, you can see we've got a bit of color on them. Cook them longer if you want and blacken them up if you like, but for me that's fine. We're gonna set them aside, get back to this cooker with our chicken. Okay, so keeping that little bit of oil that we had from the cashews, we're now gonna add half of our garlic and ginger. We're now gonna add our chicken that we've put the cornstarch in and the other flavors. We're gonna cook this on a high heat for about four minutes. Keep it moving pretty much all the time. Okay, off goes the heat. And then once again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chicken out, set it aside. Okay, so just to recap, we've now got our cooked chicken that we just done our cashews that we, we just tossed in a little bit of oil and we've got that stock, the chicken stock with the soy sauce and the sugar. Remaining now is the vegetables. We're gonna get back to the pan, start off with the vegetables and then we're gonna add this in and we're done. So here we are again, we've still got that little bit of oil, that's fine. So now we're gonna put the rest of our ginger in, our garlic, the onion, and the celery. So we're on a really high heat now. We're gonna be going for about three minutes here. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of salt, a little bit more black pepper. Keep this moving. Okay, there we go, this is coming on beautifully, still nice and crunchy. It's at this point we're gonna add in those bell peppers. You could be putting carrots in as well if you wanted. 
if you were, you would be putting them in with the same time as the celery. Let's get in our cashews. Let's get in our chicken. A little bit of green onion. And we're going to go for about 90 seconds, two minutes. Keep this moving, we're on maximum heat. Really, really wonderful. Okay, the last stage now is the stock with a little bit of sugar in. Staying on this really high heat. We're gonna go for about one or two minutes. This is gonna evaporate quite a bit and then we're done. Okay, off goes the heat. Very noisy that, sorry about that, maybe you couldn't hear me. This has evaporated, you know, really quite fast. And we've got a nice kind of sticky sauce all over that. That's it, we're done. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Lots of love.